and this is Heat 1 of the men's 5,000-meter run high performance presented by Willamette Valley Track and Field, the Paul Banta Memorial 5,000-meter run, $5,000 in prize money on the line. We'll have 22 athletes at the start. Galen Rupp, Seguro Osako, who is a late scratch, Kirabella Arasa, Eric Finan, Christo Landry, Luke Bruchet, George Alex, Morgan Pearson, Reed Connor, Ababia Simbasa, Peter Corrigan, Jeremy Roth, Sidney Gadabade, Joseph Stillen, Seagase Tume, Jonathan Gray, Mitchell Brown, Jake Edwards, Eric Olson, Brendan Gregg, Luis Fern, Ostos Cruz, and Gabriel Gay. You'll have pacing duties up front, and you got the fans lining the track. Big money in the works here. You've got Galen Rupp, who's gone right to the middle of everything. And you've got in second Morgan Pearson wearing the Colorado singlet. And now sliding into second place is George Alex from Zap Fitness. He is in shape. He's ready to go. And then there's Gabriel Gay. Gabriel Gay won the 10K last night. He ran 28 low. He did it all by himself. 20 years old from Tanzania. This guy's a 62-minute half marathoner. He's just been discovered. So this is going to be a big deal, a big test for the rest of the field. Really, he did it all on his own. He went about 13.55, and then he faded to about 14.07. But again, he did all that on his own last night. There was really no one there to help him. And so you've got two pacers out front, and that first lap right on target. And so we'll get ourselves set up here for a 600-meter split. These guys are looking for 64-65 off the front end, and we're at 135, 136, 137, and an athlete down. Athlete down, Galen Rupp was able to hurdle the athlete on the track. That almost was a costly accident for a lot of athletes in this field. The pace continues to still hum, though, around the track here at Lewis and Clark. Gabriel Gay, he's established himself up front early. And if anybody wants to challenge for that $5,000, they're going to have to go through him to do it. They're at 207 right now. So perfect pacing on the front end here, 63 mids for these athletes as we get a look here on our pace chart for the 5K. And so these guys right here, you got Morgan Pearson in third. You've got... George Alex in second. In fourth, you have Luke Boucher from ASICS Canada, and then Galen Rupp has settled into fifth. And really, those top five are going to be really the only names you need to know at this point. Galen Rupp is just going to try to collect himself in. Gabriel Gay, again, from Tanzania, 20 years old, won the 10K yesterday. He is the real deal. If you didn't see that race... You're going to know what I'm talking about in a little bit. George Alex from Zap Fitness. He always runs well here from out in North Carolina. And we're right at 312. So 64 is just humming along here. 416 pace. Get ourselves about 1320 if we can extend that all the way through. Well under the U.S. Trials and Olympic standards of 1328 and 1332 and almost good enough for that 131978 that Dathan Ritzenhain ran here four years ago. Galen Rupp now moving into fourth. Luke Boucher dropping back on the outside of lane one into fifth place. Morgan Pearson, this will be a big run for him if he can hold on to the pack. So with our leaders in mind, $5,000 at stake here. A big purse for these athletes, 5,000 meters on the track. Again, this is all in memorial for Paul Banta. Big part of the track and field community for a number of years. And we're at 414, 415, 416, 417 for Rupp. These guys are right on that 1320 pace. 
Dathan Ritzenhine's record looks like it might be going down if these guys can hold on. There's a big enough group of athletes who all have the pedigrees to run fast that I think that record will finally be broken here today. Gabriel Gay still with the lead. George Alex in second. Morgan Pearson looking comfortable. The Buffalo in the black singlet right in front of Galen Rupp who looks as poised as ever as well. These guys continue to split 64 seconds around the track. We take a look at Morgan Pearson in third. Again, he's had he's unattached right now. He's 22 years old, coming from you know the United States. He's run 1336. He ran that up at Pac-12s earlier this year. His 13 is. He's run 1336 twice. He ran it at Mount Sac in 2015 as well. So this guy is poised for a big PR. He's got an 801 3K to his credit. He's got 343 and 152 speed. So Morgan Pearson situating himself for a big PR, and he would love to hit that standard of 1328 for the U.S. trials. These guys are still humming along the track here, and you can see – the big crowd that has come out of the stands to support these athletes. $5,000 on the line. And Galen Rupp sitting right in fourth. This is his outdoor debut. This will be a big look into his fitness and see how marathon training has made him stronger through the last couple months. As one of the rabbits has dropped off the track. And Gabriel Gay, really, he looks like he's up in front there from Tanzania. He looks poised to go around the second pacer at any minute. George Alex also looks like he's in the flow, and you get some bunching there in places four, five, six, and seven. We'll get some IDs on those runners. You got Luke Brochet in fifth place as they keep continue to rock and roll around the track. John Marcus having him right on pace there, and they're going to have to pick things up just a little bit. So Gabriel Gay, George Alex, Pearson, Rupp, Brochet, and then to the outside, Kirabel Arasa from Atlantic, Atlanta Track Club in sixth place. As we're with six to go here. And these athletes right at seven minutes. So the 64 points have continued here. And they're looking at a big time 3K split on their next trip around the track. And now look at a big move here from Rupp sliding into second place and another move behind George Alex to solidify fourth place from hip number 11, uh, 10, Abiaba Simbasa in going around George Alex again for third. The pace is really picking up here and now the pacer steps aside for Gabriel Gay and Galen Rupp has positioned himself nicely. So a big run here from Gabriel Gay. They're at 8.03 through 3,000 meters. Continuing to rock and roll. Morgan Pearson out the back. Gave it a good go and now George Alex in fourth. So you've got hip number 15. That's Sege Tume from Poso Sports in third place as they're going to come through two miles at a blazing clip, although they've slowed down a little bit here. They're at 837. So they started out at 416. That was a 421. Things are going to have to pick up just a little bit for these athletes. And again, it's another symptom of 64-point pacing where those decimals do add up. And really, it's been 65 points for a majority of it. Now Luke Boucher coming back, to, uh, trying to overtake George Alex. You've got Kirabel Arasa still from Atlantic Track Club. And they come around now a mile to go, 9-10. So they are going to need 64s all the way through to hit that 1326. 1328 is the U.S. Trials. 
1332 is the Olympic standard. So if they're able to find that 64 second pace, we're going to have multiple athletes coming through strong. As you see, Luis Fern Ostos Cruz desperately trying to get with that lead group. We're at 942. So these athletes right here dropping the pace down a little bit. Luke Bruchet, they're trying to react to this pacing. Reed Connor from New Jersey, New York has found himself in that lead group. He's in there trying to compete with three laps to go. Gabriel Gay, and we'll see what Galen Rupp can do to get around this 20-year-old from Tanzania, 10-16. It will be an interesting duel for these athletes. That was a 66 right there. So stuff has slowed down a little bit on the front end of things, and that's why there are now eight athletes who all think they've got a shot at winning $5,000. Can't write this drama as Gabriel Gay, Galen Rupp. They look to be the two most comfortable in that group. But again, Tumay from Poso Sports looking smooth on the rail as well, and then coming out and around the outside, Luke Bruchet from A6 Canada. He's got to hit that 1332, and man, a $5,000 payday would be nice. And now he's going to the lead. So an interesting move here from Luke Bruchet. He doesn't trust the pacing of Gabriel Gay anymore. Gabriel Gay might be out of gas. He ran the 10K yesterday, and these guys have got a boogie right now. They're at 1122, so that's why the pace slowed down significantly and 11.22 means that they're going to need 63s to get to that 13.28 13.32 is the Olympic standard so that's what Luke Boucher is going for and now Gabriel Gay out the back Galen Rupp looking smooth as ever Kirabel Arasa in fourth. Gabriel Gay still staying in contact here now 600 meters to go they're at 11.52 and now Luke Bruchet gets bumped on the inside rail. To May sliding into second, but it's Galen Rupp. He's taking the lead here with 500 meters to go. And the crowd starting to cheer him on. Galen Rupp, the hometown boy. Central Catholic product, University of Oregon, silver medalist at 10,000 meters. Member of the 2016 USA Olympic Marathon team, 12:24. He has the lead, and these guys are going to drop something silly, and Tumay is going with him. Segei Tumay in second place, matching Rupp stride for stride right now, and they are flying around the track. That was a 14-second last 100 meters. And Galen Rupp seems to still be accelerating. Luke Bruchet trying to hold on. Gabriel Gay has moved into fourth. He could use that 13.32. 200 meters to go. We're at 12.52. A real attempt here. Dathan Ritzenhine in his 13.19 might not be safe because Galen Rupp has thrown it into sixth gear. He's hit the NOS, and he's going to swing out into lane two to the cheers of this crowd here at Portland Track Festival. He's at 13.11, 13.12. He doesn't seem to be slowing down all the way to the line. He'll be close to that record 13-21 for Galen Rupp. Bruchet goes to the Olympic Games. Gabriel Gay gets the standard for 5,000 meters. And another couple of runners also hitting under 13-32. For the Americans, they need a 13-28. Galen Rupp, though, with the victory.